What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. Now, I haven't asked, can you make a tutorial on the blue square cut transition thingy? Example, and a link there. So what he was talking about is something like this. How to make a quick transition on this thing. Now you can use this on a lot of different things. It's really simple. You can create a transition that will be used to open up all kinds of different stuff. Sounds awesome, sounds awesome. Really simple transition. Let's jump in and learn how to make it. And as always, before we get started, feel free to download the After Effects project file to follow along or just take the work for your own. No big deal, <laughs> how about that? So to get something like this made, as we can see, the first thing, it's squares popping up. Let's switch this around so we can see. It is squares popping up. So squares, and it looks kind of like they're repeating throughout the entire thing. So super simple to make, let's get started. So first off, new composition, we'll call it a uh, square transition. 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60 frames per second. Let's make it a five second transition. You know what, let's make it 10. Not a big deal, it doesn't matter. Click OK. All right, the first thing we're gonna need is a square. So go up here to your rectangle tool, hold shift and drag out a square. Something about that big will do. Then the next step is to get this anchor point to be in the middle of the square. So grab your anchor point tool right here, grab your anchor point, hold command, and snap it to the center of the circle. Cool. All right, now that that's done, we need to make the actual like movement of the transition. You know where it comes in, the squares pop in like that? We're gonna do that with this first square right here. So click S on your keyboard, and we are going to make this thing the little scale thing we saw. So what we're gonna do is on this little stopwatch right here, click it to keyframe your scale at 100%, go back in time, take the scale down to 0%, and it's gonna scale up to that. Then we're gonna go back down to 90, click enter, then back up to 100%. And right now the uh, transition or the, the scaling will be really slow, something like that. But what we can do is highlight all these keyframes, right click, keyframe assisted, easy ease, and then we can make this together. So move this together, move this in, and it's all less than a second. It does like that. This scale in, boom. How about that? All right, the next step is to take this, scroll down on our effects, and if your align tool is not here, go to window, align. Now your align tool has appeared. It may appear somewhere else, but you can dock it right over here. Not a big deal. We're going to align this to the edge of the composition. Really simple. And then align it to the bottom of the composition. Cool. So the next step is to duplicate this layer. So command D to duplicate it. And we're going to take the fill and change it to a different color. And there's a reason why we're changing the fill to a, a different color. Let's make it red. So when we move this up, hold shift and move it up, we can align it in such a way that it creates almost a grid effect. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. Not a big deal at all. It's almost good that it does that. Okay, cool. Next is to highlight both these layers, command C and V to copy them, and move them up, just like that. We'll put it right there, cool. Next, command C, V, and move these up, just like that. Look at that, got our first part of it done. Next, what we can do is actually move this down some, about right here, works for me. Next, highlight all these, command C, V, and move them over. And then now you can move it down to offset the, uh, the grid. Let's make sure this is all lining up the way we want it. Pretty darn close. Next what we'll do is command C, V, copy this, and move it over. Just like that. Command C V, copy all of this and move it over. A 
line it up pretty well. Next part, let's do the four, command C V, move it over just to finish off this grid. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit, that's a good thing. Now we can delete these edge squares, we don't need them. Don't need these. We don't need these up here. Cool, now we have our grid. This one looks like it's in the center, so let's use this as the center point. But right now, all of these are going in at the same time. Which is kind of what we want, right? Cool, so what we'll do is we'll jump out, new composition, let's say final transition. Click OK. Drop in our square transition, and it does this. You can drop in a photo under it. Do track mat alpha track mat from square transition. So the photo is only being revealed through the thing above it, which in this case is the transition. Scale this photo down. And it doesn't matter which photo you use. And it's going to do something like that. If we play it back. But now we need to offset all of these, um, these the, this transition to uh, make it work. Now, to get the offset right, this is what I normally do. So leave the center one at the beginning, right there. Next, what we're going to do is actually click on these squares. Highlight the next few that should come up next. And let's do a different fill on these, just so we can see them. Highlight them all. Actually, let's do the red ones right here. And find them in our layers. Move them down the timeline. Now find these. Move them even further down the timeline. You can even change their color to sea foam. Let's change these colors to red. Now what we can do is actually grab these and move them down the timeline even further. Change their color to lavender. Now grab these other red ones. Oop. Remember to change the actual fill color. And we're doing this for a good reason so we can actually see what's going on. Make them green. Grab these. Find them in our timeline. Move them even further down. Change their color to blue, not blue, let's do purple. Next what we'll do is we'll grab the next row of white. Change their fill color to yellow. Find them in our timeline. Move them past the purple ones. Change that to orange. And yet again, we forgot to change the last color's uh, fill color to something else, which we're doing that now. Change the fill to aqua blue. Grab these other red ones. Move them down our timeline. Change their fill color to, let's do like a dark gray. Grab these new white ones. Find them on our timeline. Move them down the timeline. Even further. Change this color to cyan. Change the fill to purple's completely fine. Now grab these other red ones. Change this to brown. Change the fill to uh running out of colors to pick from. We'll do a dark purple. Move them down our timeline. Grab these white ones. Change the fill to whatever this color is. Change this color to fuchsia. Move it down our timeline. And these are the last few we gotta grab. Change the fill to 
let's just do white again change this color to dark green and move them down our timeline so we got something that moves in like this so boom 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 now it's less time to organize this thing so what we're going to do is actually grab these move the shapes up to the top these have already been organized grab these move the shapes to right here organized grab these move the shapes to here those are organized grab these move the shapes to here still got to move this one up to get it with little partners and as you can see using um, different colors really helps these are the blue ones Grab all the blue. Make sure they're all aligned with the purple right here. Next we can grab these green, I think. Align them right under the purple. Oh, there's still some blue ones in here. Need to be moved up. And that's why we do this uh, different colors in the layers. That also helps a ton. Grab these orange ones. Move these up. These need to be up here with the orange. Grab these. Move them up. Grab these right here. And these. Let's move this whole layer up. These obviously need to go up here somewhere the blue. These pink need to go up with the pinks. We're getting there. And I think you kind of get where I'm heading with this. Brown needs to go up here. There's the brown. Cool. Now this is all organized. As you can see, the layers flow in just like this. Really slow transition. Click play on our keyboard. This is going to be kind of long. Way longer than expected. It's almost 10 seconds long. But what you can do is jump back into your square transition and move those squares closer together on your timeline and they'll go in really, really fast. Or an easier way to do it. Ah, that's a good way to do it. So what you do is grab all of these, move them closer. Grab all of these, move them closer, grab all of these, move them closer, 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 and I'm highlighting them all as I go. So they're all getting moved closer. So now it'll finish in less than, almost a little less than two seconds. So I can move this back. So it's now it's not a 10 second long transition, it's only two seconds. Not bad. We could probably make it a little quicker. And look at there. Beautiful transition. Just like that. All right, so before I forget, um, within the tutorial, there's these little lines that are still in this transition. So there's a black line here. You can see it where the radar is clicking black line there. And it's uh, it's really annoying. So how do we fix those? Really simple. It's just where the squares are not overlapping or perfectly aligned to each other. So just jump into your square transition. And we knew it was uh, two on the top. And so we'll highlight all these. Click down on our keyboard once. Highlight all these, click them up once. Final transition. Okay, half of them are gone. We still have this row of squares and this row of squares down here to get rid of. So highlight this, move it down. Highlight this, move it up. Really simple. Now the lines are gone. So it transitions in, it transitions in and the lines are gone. Number two, how do we make this shape background with the lines in it? Because I know you see it in a lot of transition textured stuff. It looks pretty cool. I'll just show you how to make it really fast. Super simple. So let's turn this version off. Now, really, to make it, it's real. Look, eh, to make it, it's really quick and simple. So right-click, new, solid. 
let's make it uh it's already on purple which is great let's just do a purple solid click ok 1920 by 1080 that's completely fine now the next step is to grab your rectangle tool without highlighting a layer because you're going to make a mask if you're highlighting we don't want that so just click your rectangle tool and make a really skinny line like super skinny like that cool then go into your shape layer contents add repeater now it's going to repeat itself go into your repeater click down on your little arrow if you can't find contents by the way this is all gone just click on your shape layer click the down arrow down on contents there it is now we've already added the repeater let's do a ton of copies 180 50 doesn't matter move your offset to the backwards transform the repeater click down on it position move it together on the x-axis about like that now look on your shape layer click R on your keyboard to rotate you'll rotate it a little bit and maybe move it up some not that click your shape layer move it up some not that shape layer move it up some so the little edge over here wasn't showing cool now that's done click T on your keyboard take the opacity down to like I don't know 20 percent now you got that textured thing so highlight both of these pre-compose call it shape 2 because we made a new one put under your square transition make sure the track mat is set to alpha mat square transition and there you go that's how you make one of those shapes super super simple hope that was helpful and we'll continue the rest of the tutorial now now if you want to be able to use this transition over and over again you can save this after effects file and use that or what I would do is this so turn off this photo click effects and presets and do fill drop it on here turn the fill to white so your transition is just a white and black transition then go to composition add to render queue lossless RGB plus alpha click OK final transition save it wherever it doesn't matter click render awesome cool so I've already got a project set up here in Premiere we have some stock footage that I took and some other stock footage that I took you can find it on Pond5 or Shutterstock wherever you want go buy it cool so we can take our transition we just created which is an alpha mat which is this right here which is just a white transition onto nothing basically and what we'll do is like final transition drag into our timeline between the two pieces of footage we want to transition between then we'll go to effects set mat so type in set mat or just type in mat they'll both pop up drag it onto mesmerizing ocean waves in this case or you know your footage doesn't matter do you take mat from video channel 2 which is the mat right here so what's gonna do is instead of just cutting to the waves it's going to use the transition we created to play the footage back and now you exported your file you no longer have to keep using the After Effects file you created you can just make your own and save it and use it over and over again so that's about it I hope this was helpful and as always I am Max please like and subscribe I'll catch you guys next time feel free to leave a suggestion and thank you once again coming up on a thousand subscribers so that's pretty exciting Oh, and Ivan, thanks for the uh, suggestion. Just wanted to give you a quick little shout-out. Till next time. Peace.